Hello friends, my name is Pavel and I welcome you to 3D Genesis channel. Today we will take a look at the Focus Odin 5 F3 3D printer. This printer has a special function. As you saw in the intro, it is foldable and can be taken anywhere. Imagine that you can just put your printer in your bag and take it with you on vacation or to show it to friends. That's a nice future, right? But does it deliver good print results? We'll look at that in the course of the review. Let's look at the specification first. We have 3.5 inch display which is very responsive. An ultra base like printing bed. Dual Z axis which prevents from Z wobble. Direct drive extruder with integrated filament sensor. Mainboard is on 30 bit one with silent stepper drivers, integrated Wi Fi module. There is also place to install BL Touch. Now let's go to unboxing. You can skip this part by using the timeline. The box is a bit heavy, I was surprised at how well it was handled by transport company. In the box there is another box, this shows our 3D printer. It is really nicely designed and attractive to the buyer. Let's take a look inside, our 3D printer is protected by foam, nothing is falling out, looks good so far. After removing the left and right protection, our 3D printer is free. Generally, it is very plain and simple packed. First, we will check the accessory. We have a 250 gram white PLA spool for some test prints. In the small box, we will find operating instructions, spare parts, tools, SD card, snippers, spool holder and more goods. Now we can proceed with assembly. Assembly process is very straightforward. We need first to remove the protection foils. After this step, we're taking out the screws and putting them into place on left and right side. Just a few more small things. We remove the cable tie that protects the cables from damage during transport, insert the cables into place and we're good to go. Before I forget, we can install the spool holder optionally I don't really need it, because I'm using the fila dryer from Sunlu, which I got from AW3D. I showed it before on this channel. Now we are able to prepare the printer for the first print. We need calibrate or level the print bed. In order to do this, we're hitting the bed to 50 degree and we're choosing the level option. We screw the print bed up at each corner, so there is a minimal gap between the print bed and the nozzle. Repeat this process up to three times to be sure. Now we are almost ready. We're heating the nozzle to 200 degree and we can extrude our filament. Now we choose a test print, an owl. All models are shown as 3D object on the display. I like that. Now let's talk about the print quality. The first print looks amazing, I have nothing to complain. For the next test print I use a different color, as you can see the quality is very decent and all details are clear. As next I printed a benchy. As you can see, the printer had some problems on the bottom, so I changed the temperature and speed. I printed the model again, unfortunately without any positive changes. Next print was this chameleon, it looks just stunning. I printed a Pikachu, he looks very good. Unfortunately, he has somehow lost part of his left arm. 
In the future I will publish several short videos where the focus printer is used. You will see how good the quality can be. Now my conclusion. This printer made a very good impression on me. It was packaged very well, there weren't even the slightest problems during the assembly. It was child's play. The specification of the printer are very rare for this price. The printer works very quietly, the foldable function is a huge innovation that I will centrally use. The print quality is very good, it can be improved by playing around with the slicing software. I can recommend this printer without any hesitation, I hope you enjoyed the video, I am looking forward to your opinion. Friends, stay healthy and take care of yourself. Goodbye.